Today we're in chapter one of the book of Nehemiah, an amazing book about a great leader. And I want you to listen to the very first verses here in Nehemiah as this, well, this crazy thing is about to happen. Listen to what it says. It came to pass in the month of Shizlev on the 20th year, as I was in Shushan in the citadel. This is Nehemiah talking. He's in the capital city of Persia, and he's in the citadel, which is the palace. And he says, Hananiah, one of my brethren, came with men from Judah, and they asked them concerning the Jews who had escaped, who had survived the captivity, and concerning Jerusalem. So he gets a visitor from Jerusalem, and he wants to know what's going on. So right now, Nehemiah's kind of living a cushy life. He's in the palace, and he gets some guys from Israel who visit, and he goes, hey, what's going on in Jerusalem? And here's what they say. The survivors who are left from the captivity in the province are there in great distress and reproach. And the wall of Jerusalem is broken down. And Jerusalem, well, the gates are burned with fire. So it was when I heard these words, Nehemiah speaking, that I sat down and I wept and I mourned for many days. I was fasting and praying before the God of heaven. So he hears news from his homeland that things are in distress. Now, I want you to listen, I, wa I want you to pay attention. So Nehemiah is living in the palace. He's close to the king. He's almost like a secret service guy. He's the cupbearer. Now, the book of Nehemiah begins 15 years after Ezra. And it's been 100 years after the first captives have gone back to the homeland. And still the walls are not rebuilt. And so Nehemiah, when he hears this, well, he's impacted. He weeps, he prays, he fasts, and finally he asks the Lord to do something about it. And here's what happens. The Lord responds. But Nehemiah doesn't say, hey Lord, send someone else. Or Lord, find someone else who can do something about this. He volunteers to do something about it himself. And I think if you could summarize, if you could bring together the the purpose and the meaning and maybe the story of Nehemiah chapter one, it might be this, that God's not just looking for people to pray, but he's looking for people to say, God, can you use me? I volunteer. If you wanna use me, Lord, I'll go. And this is what happens. God sends Nehemiah and he does an amazing work through him. This is what the book is all about. And maybe you can look around and see ministries or things in your neighborhood or in your church or whatever it might be. And God might be pointing out to you by sending someone to you or showing you something. And instead of saying, well, God, do something about it and praying about it, God might want to use you. I know he does. And he wants you to be a part of his plan and his purpose. Nehemiah, hey, he left a great position, a great situation, and God used him mightily to help rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. And God probably wants to use you in an area if you'll listen, if you'll pray, and if you'll be available.